sickness was forever I remember snow videos Cold September's The distances we covered The fist fights on the beach The busies round us up Do it all again next week An embryonic love The first time that it's sky Embarrass yourself for someone Crying like a child And the boy you kicked Tom's head in Still bugs me now That's the thing, it lingers And cries you when you die Ivan's behind us and this is his Fent 939. I just stopped him when he's having a bite date and he's going to give you a wee tour around it very quickly. I had to really coax him into doing this. So Ivan, how long are you running the... the you, you, this is your second 939. I remember the first one that came here. Second, yeah. 015. The first one. We changed our 018 now. Similar machine. Same, same tracker. You use, when I remember you first came here, you used nearly all fence. Well, a lot of it was, was fence. Yeah, we still have fence, yeah. Four. Four. Four fence still. You have the older one that was on the ploughing way down and loud that yeah, that we still got it. Yeah. There's thirteen thousand hours on it, still flying. Flying. Man engine. Yeah. yeah. Not John Deere slipping in. Yeah, there's a few coming in. Um just the uh, dealership's a bit far away. No, John Deere's fairly good now. Yeah. Yeah, we don't say that too loudly. <laughs> <laughs> well, should look as the backups everything now and yeah, you're a job like this. Fence. Nothing wrong with the fence, the, the rise in Dublin there either. Farm works now good good yeah, help. Yeah. These are the same mowers you came with day one to yeah, us. Zero, zero 012. How many acres would you nearly reckon a year would be put through? Nah, I'd say a little over 2,000 every year. Yeah, and fairly de fairly decent. You're happy with the class mower? Yeah, a good strong mower now. Yeah, stick a lot of abuse now. I see the front ones. You said you changed the front one. Was last year you changed it? Yeah, we changed it last year now. Just for no reason, just just more or less. We got a good enough deal there at Lancaster Farm. The horsepower. What are you talking here then on the, on this machine? Well, this is almost 400. I That's think they're all still alive on her. She's fairly sweet there now. Nothing broke out. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's going well now. And what would it take? It, it, look at it, I suppose no problem driving them motors. What would it take to drive them motors? What would the oh, look minimum at, be? Look at 200 to drive a tube on, on level ground, but when you want to get output, you need power behind you. 13k there, up and down the hills, no bother. That were you always running butterfly motors? Oh, what did you start with? Uh, we had front mower and a, well, how do we, Coons, Coon mower years ago. It's Coverland. Uh, yeah, we had them all, John Deere's, years and years ago. What have been the first tractor you mowed ever mowed on? <clears throat> well, uh, we used to have a man mowing for us. Yeah. I used to do the piss. Done it for eight years and no, the man was mowing for us, Sean. Yeah. Mowed for a good number of years on the old fent and the front mower. Coon, Coon on the back. And then we change that then for a and more, and then we get into it. I'm going to run through there, just as lots of joysticks. Looks like being on a PlayStation. Ah, yeah, I'll is the best. Great and simple now, and you get the hang of it now. Oh, I suppose all GPS anyway, you have everything. Oh, yeah, it's in. full GPS. That's expoodles, everything, nothing's manual anymore. No, that's the lift there, and that's your gear, pops. Forward for forward. No, the harder you push, that's your gear. Oh, so you, full vario. So, so the harder you push, the more you push that, the faster she'll go. All right. You have right. no gears like a like the old. It's not tapping forward all the time. No, it's, no, it's not. That's a full vario. 
So it does. I would see you're walking in under Yeah, yeah. PTO on. PTO on the front. And that's it. So I ever sat there, 2100. Now preset. You don't uh, put in the sort, you never lay it flat on the ground. I think it's a great job. Yeah, we just spread when the weather's with us, and then if it's dampish weather and there's not much wind from going on, we just roll it. Yeah. Those two of the ground, so it gives the ground a chance to dry off. It's a good job there when you're, when you're grouping. If you have stony ground too, like the rake's not breaking up stones. You really never need to tin it out or anything else. No, no, no. This tramping's only about it. Tramping good sailors into the ground. Look, that's it, everyone has their own. That's where we're heading now for the GPS. She'll steer herself. She'll steer herself. I'm just lesser gears. Speed her up. Oh, yeah, that's your monitor. I can see the lane you're taking in there. Yeah, lane of cruise. She'll head for 12k. Am I going to be. Depends, if the ground's rough, you'll be going slower. Another thing, comfort, and it's quiet. Oh. The noise outside is very quiet in here. It's rolled right to the tackle now. Yeah. If you're on it for a long day, even the front suspension, they give that wishbone suspension, the front is great. There's be all air suspension to see down there as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cap, three, three airbags in the cap, the front, two in the back. All is wrong, they're too expensive. Yeah. Would you find much problems with air, with air suspension, or air brakes, I presume, as well, is it? Oh, yeah, full all air No, never bothered that. But even you do more than just say this walk. You do a lot of tennis walk too. Yeah, we do a lot of tennis and up around need and drop and, and load. Our sole business then. The front bin with Fairglazer and close the seat and Fairglazer back. I have a few old videos in my chair sometime. I've yeah. been walking down and in mead and loud. And you see the kind of system to run down there. That's the work this time to do. This is so on. I used to call the channel, but loads of work they used to do down in Louth and in Mead, and there's a load of them there. If you look it up, I'll try to find a link to my old channel. It was only a bit of crack, it wasn't a monetized thing or anything. It was just actually making videos for Ivan. He asked me to do it years ago, and I took the notion of doing it. And I followed him around a few places and I made a few videos, and people seemed to like it. If I can find the link, it might be actually in my own name now, just Adrian Morris, but I'll look it up. And if I can find him, I'll share them if you're into that kind of thing. But Fair play to Ivan for giving me a bit of time. He doesn't like cameras, and I know Ivan a long time between rallies and things we used to go around. Oh, with twin cams, Honda Civics, we used to do all that kind of crack. But yeah, talking in front of a camera for the first time is not that easy, especially with the noise and the tractor and things. But he done well. He gave us a quick tour of his fent. Unbelievable tractor, an unbelievable tractor. And pleasantly, well, not say surprised, I knew it was okay. But it's cutting really nice, it's lovely stuff, but overall it's a nice cut of stuff and I'm happy with it. Remember we have a quarter of a pit there, more than a quarter of a pit, so we're not looking for a massive force cut. It's good quality and that's all that matters. I would have liked if the sun had come out today. The sun didn't come out for long today, it was out for a little while. It's a funny old day, it's very, very, very cold with not wind blowing, but it's dry. And this will probably sit 
um, for the most of tomorrow they're either coming tomorrow late on tomorrow evening there's three men I think that have to fit in before they come to me so they'll come later on tomorrow evening or they'll be with us on Friday I don't mind either way it'll sit there and it'll wilt and hopefully get a bit of sunshine it's given a very warm weekend but Ivan let me know that they were coming yesterday morning and you can't say no they're under enough of pressure and he was in this area doing another neighbour's farm so we just let him work away I'm glad he did it'll all be cut now and be in the pit in the next 48 hours finish with the following morning a lovely morning it's just gone 10 to 9 now and stuff behind me is already starting to wilt there's a north wind blowing the day and it's still blowing into my face here hitting me head on and it's cold it's definitely cold but stuff is already starting to dry out and it's only 10 to 9 in the morning like so the wind is helping to dry it out it's given lovely clear skies today and nice sunshine up to about 20 degrees um, now some of you might ask Adrian did you not mow any of your own silos this year? I did I mowed some of the backfield but yes there was a the plans just didn't go to well the way I had them planned anyway um, my dad had an appointment yesterday morning that I had to bring him to and unfortunately that appointment which only should have took about 30 minutes to an hour took nearly four or five hours and that kept me away all day and then when I come home I had to do the school run and then I got to come over here and I only got about an hour's mowing and I went home to do the milking early thinking that I'd get back over here early I didn't know when anyone was coming and as soon as I put on the first cow my daughter said the mowers is in the field and by the time I got over here and got everything wrapped up he was no, there was no point in starting to come in and start mowing in front of him he was well on so I just let him finish it off but look at there are things in life <laughs> that are more important than grass and yes it involved one of those things there goes Mr Hare thankfully he met it I was worried that he'd get cut up every morning there's two of them and there's one in the other field as well and he's running across the top of the hill there, there he goes don't know if you can see him with the sunlight the way he goes over there my father just wasn't well this morning either and my sister's away with him um, today just to get him checked over and hopefully be alright but it's looking like he's not going to see the silage the year which is unfortunate because one thing he does not like to miss is the silage being cut on the farm but at least we'll have a video made and I'll show him that and maybe he will get home I don't know but it's not looking like it at the minute um, but anyway our cars before I do end today's video I'm not sure if it's in last video or this video depends on the way I edit these but when we done the worms in our calves, um, a few days later, you could tell there and then it was worms. Um, they're dried up now and they're much, much livelier and healthier. So they're just eating a meal here now at the minute. Um, so yeah, that was a problem solved. That's them solved. And anyway, I was actually glad I even mowed it yesterday. It just took the pressure off me. When your mind is elsewhere, and you're not really in the form of it. It's nice for someone to come in and do it for you. Um, but we will be doing our own second cut and our own third cut as normal. Um, I'm going up here now to check my heifers and when I get home, the girls are off school today, which is great. That's going to be a good bit of help for me. And uh, There's no school for them today. So I've told them the great news before I left the house that we're going to roll out the covers. We have two covers to roll out. It won't take very long. We're just going to fold them out and pick out the best cover out of it. And then we're going to buy one new cover. I have to also go and collect the clear seal. I've it all, so I have to go and collect it in my local crop as well. And just get a few things notched up. I have the trailer on the back of the quad because I'm going to take some grass home to our calves that aren't out yet. They will be going out with these other 10 now. There'll be six more going out with them. I was going to do it today, but we'll see how the day pans out. If not, we'll do it on Saturday um, and get them out then. So that's going to be happening until the next one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.